What's up everyone, The Cold Cobra here. So today I'm going to be doing something a lot of you have requested and that's going over all of the upgrades I've done to my Beretta 92X Performance, optimizing it for USPSA Carry Optics Division. So one thing to note about my 92X performance setup is that it is a true stock 92X performance. It is not like JJ Rokazas where he has a performance frame with a defensive slide, which is a light and slide, nor is it the new 92X performance carry optics ready one that has the cuts direct from Beretta to use their Beretta optics plates. Okay, so the first thing I do with any new pistol is I replace the springs. Even though the 92X performance is designed for competition, I actually found that the 12 pound Wilson Combat hammer spring was a little bit smoother and a little bit lighter than the factory spring that came with the 92X performance. So the next thing I upgraded on my 92X performance was the recoil rod and recoil spring. I actually put in a plastic guide rod, took out the steel guide rod, and I put in a lower pound recoil spring. The reason why I did that was because the Beretta 92X performance is heavy enough as it is, and I felt that having a plastic guide rod gave it a little bit better weight balance when we're talking maybe an ounce, if that. But it just, you know, didn't make it as front heavy. And then also the recoil uh, spring, uh, I changed to a lower pound recoil spring because the cycling on that I felt to be a little bit better. It actually had a little bit smoother recoil impulse. And then tracking the dot uh, on my Sig Romeo 3XL that I'm going to go into later, uh, was actually just a little bit easier having the lower pound recoil spring. So the next upgrade is probably the most important part in changing the action of the pistol. And that's upgrading your hammer to the match hammer. The match hammer actually should come stock on the 92X performance, but I think uh, they developed it with JJ after the 92X performance already came out. And what that does is it actually uh, changes the reset on it. You can actually see that there's no take up there or very, very little take up. And after you shoot it and cycle, uh, it has a very, very short reset. And then you can see that my match hammer is actually the MP3 coded one. You don't necessarily have to get it MP3 coded, you can get the regular match hammer. The reset will be the same, but I figured that the MP3 coded one does feel a little bit smoother, so why not pay the extra 10 bucks or so to get that. And then in conjunction with the match hammer, I also replaced the trigger bar to the Langdon Tactical Optimized Trigger Bar. So the Langdon Tactical Optimized Trigger Bar actually does have a built-in over travel, but the Brother 92X Performance also has adjustment screws for over travel. However, the double action and the single action reset with the Langdon Tactical Trigger Bar seems a little bit smoother to me than the regular 92X Performance Trigger Bar. And so if you're gonna go competitive shooting, you wanna go as smooth as possible, and the LTT Trigger Bar is the way to go. You've also probably noticed that I've upgraded the magazine release. This is the Tony Systems Extended Magazine Release, which is a little bit larger than the factory Beretta 92X magazine release, and it just makes it a little bit easier to do quicker magazine changes. So this wouldn't be a carry optics pistol without a red dot mounting solution, and on this one I have the Tony Systems mounting plate that I'm using for my Sig Romeo 3XL. It actually replaces the rear dovetail sight on this. It screws in to tighten it down, uh, but it doesn't have the optics cuts from Beretta, like I said, so it is really a third-party uh, aftermarket replacement. And I felt it to be very, very secure. It's actually not that high over the frame when compared to other solutions like the Beretta solution. I actually am used to sh shooting the uh, Sig Romeo 3 XL on my Walter, and the XL's or just the Sig Romeo 3's footprint in general is very, very large, so it is going to stick up off the frame. I actually don't mind how it looks, how high it sits up, because like I said, it actually gives a good sight picture on the Romeo 3 XL. And I guess that leads us to the optic itself, which is the Sig Romeo 3 XL. And I like the Sig Romeo 3 XL a little bit better than the Sig Romeo 3 Max, because I like the window picture of that better. I actually like having the wide picture versus having a circle that's kind of naturally how you see the world. You look at things in a widescreen format, movies, TVs, sunglasses, you know, your windshield of the car. You're not looking through tunnels, which is what a circle is. Uh, you're looking through, um, you know, rectangles basically. Then also I have some prototype G10 grips from Lock Grips. These are their 92FS conversion palm swell wraparounds 
that's their uh, Veloce texture or Veloce texture. And it basically has the conversion hump for uh, us regular Beretta 92 shooters. I'm so used to shooting regular Beretta 92s that something with the Vertec grip kind of feels awkward to me. So this makes it feel more natural to me and then also has a palm swell to really fill up the hands and the uh, aggressive uh, Veloce texture, Veloce texture, you know, is very, very grippy. So I really like these prototype grips from uh, from Luck Grips and they will be available soon. I know I get a lot of questions on Instagram and on YouTube about, you know, when they're going to be available, what colors and whatnot. But Lock Grips has told me that they will be available soon once they uh, do some final uh, final tweaks to the uh, prototypes to make them ready for production. I have, well, I did. And then the last drop-in part is going to be the Wilson Combat Mag Guide. It's a mag guide and not a mag well, so it is legal in production and carry optics. And the reason why it's actually legal, whereas like the I think the Glock Slug or something that has something similar is not, is because this is actually sold on factory pistols. The Wilson Combat Mag Guide comes stock on the Wilson Combat 92 series of pistols, the Brigadier Tactical and the Centurion Tactical. It replaces the OEM hammer spring cap. So it's a one piece system, take out the cap, put this in, put the pin back in and you're good to go. So those are all the drop in upgrades that I've done to my Beretta 92X performance. You've probably already noticed that I've done work to my beaver tail as well as trigger guard area. So I'm gonna be going over those frame modifications in a separate video. So be sure to hit that little red button right there to like and subscribe so you get notifications for when those new videos come out.